Greg here from Sticky Wicked Designs going to do just this is a quick tutorial actually for a client for the Prince George Cantata Singers for working with some images that need to have a special gradient overlaid over top um, for use in the slideshow that appears on the home page of their site. So right now I have the um, a specific Photoshop file open, a PSD file, slides2.psd, and within it we'll see I got a couple things. One, a gradient layer that's marked with a little, um, the, that it's locked so it can't be um, deleted mistakenly um, without knowing what you're doing. And then I've got some um, photos within a certain group. A specific group. This is under group one. I'll just rename it. So the steps that we need to go through once we've opened up this file and it opens up Photoshop for editing. Uh, first thing I do is I create a new layer. And then I'll go and use the place function. And I can scroll through and find images that I'm interested in for use on that and can get them set up. So this one the image is coming in smaller which actually is a pretty good indication that it's a relatively low res image. So all I'm going to do is in this case scale it but normally we would have larger images that we need to uh, adjust down a bit to get them ready. So I've just scaled it a little bit initially, I'm going to hit the check mark saying yes, it's good. And then we just have to do the save as. Actually, hold on, that's not the one I want. Save for web and devices. This is going to save that particular image. Um, by default, it's coming up with the right um, information in terms of whether it's a JPEG, the resolution of it, the quality. Um, don't need to change that. And it's already got the right dimensions because um, that's why we've set up this file. So it gives you consistent dimensions so the slideshows will be um, consistent in their image sizes. So we hit the save. You'll save it to somewhere on your computer. And I just have to decide where I'm going to drop it here. I'm going to create another folder in there called Slideshow. And then you just name the particular file. Maybe just go numerically. Um, you want to avoid using names that have already in place um, within the the slideshow itself in the gallery that's the only thing so um, I'll start with the number that I know will be safe so slides 100 these settings are already right format images only background image oh, I've got uh, things set up on a slightly larger window at the moment so save that's done. So you've saved the image. Now all you need to do is go through the gallery module on CMSMS and add another image to the slideshow gallery and you're all set. So that's it. Thanks.